Hello everyone! We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back! I am pretty much finished with the base for now. I decided to finish it off with this kind of funky looking tower up here. And probably gonna want to do some more fine tuning, you know, add more decoration and stuff like that as we go along. I'll show off a little bit of the actual base. I haven't changed too much since you last saw it. But anyway, yes, so, off camera, what did I work on? I went ahead and made all this armor here. As you can see, I was sort of working on fishing and stuff like that. Uh, I guess helmet. We're going to attempt to beat the Wall of Flesh today. Uh, first, there is just a... No, I don't have anything. Everything is in here. All right. So a bit of cool stuff to show off, first of all. Um, let's see, assorted things. First of all, we have a new mount. This adorable little bunny rabbit. Uh, it's... it doesn't jump nearly as good as, um, the king slime... or... <clears throat> the slime mount, but it does negate fall damage, which is pretty good since we don't actually have an item that does that as of yet. Uh, what... what else was there? Where... Where was that jar of tartar sauce? <clears throat> yeah. That, um... Oh. Wait, is that... Oh! Yeah, it, it summons that. I I don't really know what it was. It's the first time I've summoned it. No, oh, I can equip that. So it's, uh... A pet? I assume it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of... Hangs out. Okay, and it makes that... Lovely sound whenever I bite into it. Anyway, moving on. I want to show off a couple of crafting recipes. Uh, I can't do anything with this sextant, unfortunately. I had no luck. I was trying so hard to get... Yeah, to get that, uh... The other two parts, but the angler... He didn't want to give me the other two items that would be used to craft this into something fancy. So, let's show this off instead. We have goblin tech, which is made from metal detector, which drops 50% uh, of the time from nymphs, or 100% if you're playing on expert mode. At the stopwatch and the DPS meter, both of these you can buy from the traveling merchant. Uh, the wreck, 3000. This drops, uh, I think it's like a 1 in 100 uh, chance of dropping from any enemy in the dungeon, and the other two. Actually, this is a drop from something, I think. Go to chest. Where did I buy that? I, I can't remember. No, but then you create this. And we also have the cloud and a balloon, where you combine a balloon. These you can find in Sky, on Sky Islands, much like these ones here. I, as you can see, I was kind of exploring. We need one more balloon, I believe, in order to... Oh yeah, we can also create this uh, sandstorm and a balloon. Boom, boom. There we are. Always good combining our assorted items together. Uh, the, yeah, the uh, balloon allows you to jump higher, and combining it with the cloud, which or other thing in a bottle, which improve or gives you extra jumps, like that. And uh, what else do we have going on here? Oh yeah, I could use this to make the uh, shark run in a balloon, but I don't want to do that yet, because I'm not quite sure if uh, this balloon pufferfish counts as a balloon for the bundle of balloons. Then again, eh, why not? Maybe we'll be able to make the bundle of balloons. I think you only need three different balloons to make it. And I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to find uh, some other thing. I, I shouldn't have done that. That was a horrible mistake. Now we're gonna have to. I'll just stick you in there. We don't want you anymore. Okay, also, yeah, other things to craft. Okay, we have the obsidian shield which gives you the benefits of the Cobalt Shield, which you can find inside gold chests in the dungeon. I think you can find it in other places, but it's definitely in gold. those locked gold chests you find in the dungeon. And also, much to my annoyance, slimes can jump through this, uh, like, one and a half square wide window. Uh, what does this do? Grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks. So... Yeah, I guess we can do that. Something like this. I want to put the sex in the way. And these all combine together with uh, the thing you make with the uh, sextant. I forget what the other two things are, which create some kind of fishing guide, Matron thing. 
And you combine all these together into a PDA, that plus the magic mirror makes a cell phone. So you you get a huge amount of information overload at this point, as you can see. But we're spending a lot of time doing all this, aren't we? Uh, what, what else am I trying to make here? Oh yes, the Phoenix Blaster. A handgun, which you can find in chests in the dungeon. You might be able to find it elsewhere, but I found it in the dungeon. And ten Hellstone Bars makes that. Also, it occurs to me... Should have prepared a bit better, since I need a bit more Hellstone to make. Yeah, that's gold. Ah, the Molten Pickaxe. And you get a shiny achievement for that. Uh, we'll, we'll sell this at some point. But we'll put this away. And I can... Uh, I'll worry about inventory management later. But the gun is a gun, and... Also, I made a bunch of silver bullets, so... Just so we have options when fighting the wall. You know, I'm actually going to turn off that Minotaur. It's kind of distracting me. Anyway, let's uh, shove all our junk away for now. I'll continue with the sort of fishing-related things off-camera. Oh yeah, also just for fun. Okay. Have we been here before? I don't think so. Yeah, we have not been here before. Where are we, anyway? Oh. Alright, let's uh, randomly teleport a couple times just to finally use up all these potions, shall we? Okay, we've been here. This is somewhere new. I don't really know what I'm ex- Oh. Oh dear. Isn't this fun, though? It's just some random exploration. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Oh, okay, so that that's that. We have a whole bunch of random places that we've hopped to underground. As you can see, I've almost explored the entire uh, breadth of the underworld, creating... I can tell it, or cannot begin to tell you how annoying building the little road that I'll be showing off shortly was. Ugh. I mean, don't even get me started on that. I mean, just the bats. Oh, God, the bats. They would not leave me alone. I, I don't need you. Alright. Anyway. Oh, we probably don't need our fishing gear right now. Kinda sorry about just... Really... I guess, wandering with my commentary. Not really getting anywhere. Anyway, I'm kinda disappointed I wasn't able to create the five balloons with the uh, Sharkron balloon thing. As you can see, the whole gang's here. Everyone's pretty happy, more or less. We have the, uh, goblin tinkerer just hanging up by himself here for some reason. Here's some assorted junk we got from our various angler quests. We also have a more or less complete railway to all the major attractions. And down we go! Uh, this is gonna take a while, so... I might actually just show off the whole thing, just because it's kind of fun watching us just fall while riding a bunny rabbit, a giant bunny rabbit, wearing ninja armor, holding a balloon. It's as ridiculous as it sounds, and I love it. Also, we got these, uh, reflective gold dyes, which you can get by trading strange plants into the merchant, or the dye trader, that is. Not the merchant. The merchant is a different guy. The dye trader is who you trade your strange plants into. And I'll show off, if, assuming I remember, The, uh, actually, you know what? I should do this, just so all my weapons are close to each other. Now, we might fail the first try at the Wall of Flesh here. I, I can make no promises to my success. I will try my best, but, yeah, just keep that in mind. Oh, God! I don't think you can outrun the Bone Serpent, so sooner or later we're gonna have to stop and face him. But yeah, building the bridges like this, they are annoying as hell. I wouldn't recommend doing it by yourself if you don't want to go insane. Fortunately, I was already insane to begin with, so it really doesn't matter. But as a bone serpent continues to follow us, basically, you just keep getting chased by demons and bone serpents and bats, the goddamn bats. Don't 
Don't even. I just don't start talking about the bats. It's a bad idea. And the slimes and just and the fire imps. And, uh, they just. All I want to do is build a bridge, and they don't seem to understand that. They just keep attacking me. You know, it's actually kind of cool watching that serpent follow us. But yeah, we're just gonna make our way over to the edge of hell here, the left edge or western edge, as we just run along at 34 miles an hour. I have to say, I'm impressed. I mean, I don't know how fast the fastest man alive, or just fastest human being in general, or fastest animal for that matter, can run. Oh, right, I forgot about that. It doesn't work quite so well the way I have. Oh, okay. It, as you can see, I just crazy this. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't know how fast the fastest human being alive can run, but if they could run 34 miles an hour, as long and as far as I am currently running, well, I don't really know what to say. They wouldn't be human, would they? And meanwhile, the Bone Serpent continues to follow us. It's the only enemy nearby, but, oh god, here it comes. <laughs> Take that. Anyway, so, what do we want to do? Basically, we're gonna... I, I, oh god, I never Bone Serpent. <laughs> Where do these things keep coming from? Anyway, when we get to the edge of hell, you're going to notice that there will be a lovely pit of lava just waiting for us to cast something into the fire. And that something is a voodoo doll. What was that? I heard someone scream or some kind of monster type thing. Anyway, once we get to the end, we'll, we'll deal with the bone serpent first of all, because there's nothing more annoying than trying to fight the wall of flesh while you have a whole bunch of other enemies bothering you. Oh, and here's a slime. Wonderful. Come on. Actually, it occurs to me that was probably sort of a bad idea. This demon scythe, by the way, as you can probably imagine, it's dropped by demons. In fact, you might have noticed earlier that demons were shooting a similar looking attack. Well, an identical looking attack. That, that's that's how they... Oh, here we are. Alright, I'm not gonna preamble, we're just... Pro Excuse me for a second. Goddamn bats. Now, if I was smart, I probably would have also taken, or taken the time uh, to actually prep with some potions and things, but well, at least I have my health potions. Okay. Before anything else... Goddamn bats. <laughs> As you can see, I've killed 822 of them. But... Oh, I can't just throw it like that? Alright, this is gonna be a bit harder than I thought. All right, let's try this again. Cat. Oh boy. Oh god, here it comes the wall of flesh. Die. Yeah. Oh, we're already out of magic. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, this doesn't have auto fire. That's unfortunate. Yeah, as you can probably already guess, since this uh, giant demonic wall of flesh is coming after us in the manner that it is, uh, yeah, basically, um, we have until we reach the far side of the underworld to kill this thing. At which point, if we have not killed it, we die. Simple as that. It, oh, it's already down to 5,000. We're actually making pretty good progress. I don't normally do this well. Boom! Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised by my progress here. Boop. Wow, we're actually doing really good. Boop. Come on! Oh god, why, demon, why? Ugh. Ugh. Ew, it's shooting worms at us. That is disgusting. Oh god. I'm losing track of what I'm doing. Oh god, leave me alone! <laughs> leave me alone! You know, it occurs to me I really didn't think this through. At all. In any in any way. Oh god. It's coming for us. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have gone back for that health. Are you serious? Good. 
And we've just enabled hard mode, so dear God. I have to be honest, I built that fight up to be a lot tougher than it actually was, didn't I? Alright, so we're in hard mode now, and we're getting swarmed by all these horrible monsters of the underworld. It also occurs to me I didn't start a timer. What, what have we got here? Ah, uh, the pawn. Pound hammer? Pawn hammer? However you call that. Anyway, get... Oh! Oh wow, we all actually got the ranger emblem. Nice. The... the no, no. This... The, this... This... Don't. Leave me alone, Pat. Okay. Let, let me try to figure out what I'm doing here. We'll put that there for now. Alright, let's, uh... Crimtain bricks. Okay. You know what? Those crimtain bricks actually don't look bad. But, uh, so yeah, we're in hard mode now. So, uh, when we get back to the surface, all hell's gonna break loose. That's the funny thing about hard mode, really. Is that hell doesn't break loose down here. It breaks loose up top on the surface. Allow me to show you what I mean. Ha ha ha, silly werewolves. You're no match for my power. Or maybe you are. Observe the immense killing power of these things. It also occurs to me I never got around to making the phase saver. Yeah. But the phase saver, the uh, phase saver, well, you know, you remember that, right? I made a big thing of it when I found all, oh god. When we found uh, all those rubies, I made a big thing about the whole uh, phase blade dealy thing. And yet, I never got around to actually making the blasted thing. I forget what it's made out of. But it, you can upgrade it at this point. Uh, meteor bars, maybe? Meteor bars and rubies? I don't know. I, I forget entirely what... Oh! We all... Wow. The moon charm. Turn into a werewolf at night. Wow, we're actually moderately lucky with our drops. I am impressed. Oh, there it is. Phase blade. Alright. Now we can upgrade that with something. I forget what exactly, but something allows us to upgrade that into a phase saber or whatever its fancy new name is. 21, 43. Oh, it's also terrible. Just my luck. Um, well, we should probably hold on to the gun for now. I don't need this. I should probably sell some of this stuff. Um, this emblem. We're not really rangers, so we won't worry about it too much. Here's my armory-type chest. Apparently we need another one already. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Stuff I probably don't even really need, if we're being honest with ourselves. Let's see here. Quick stack that. Uh, Spelunker Potion, or Bug Net. Ah. Yep. Oh yeah. You can change your clothing by clicking down here, or clicking up here, and... This is a new feat. No, I'm gonna sell that. This is a new feature, by the way, of, uh, 1.3s. That dressers are now storage. Let's see, we'll just... Throw... Where did I put... What was that? You guys heard that, right? Well, that wasn't just my insanity kicking in. That was some kind of horrible scream. Who the devil's making that noise? Oh, oh god! Wraiths! Nope, they're coming for us. They're always coming for us. But yeah, there is a massive jump in difficulty as soon as you enter hard mode. Now, you're also probably wondering, what is this... Pone hammer? Pound hammer? Power hammer? Whatever you want to call that thing. Also, the whole point of this uh, is so I could do something like this. Well, the idea is that I could shoot out through the window. I, I'm going to have to work on that. It's not working quite as intended. Anyway, let's go downstairs and just wander through the base a little bit. Is there a sort of laughter in the background there. Okay, let's see. Actually, okay. Alright, so everything I want to sell, I won't need this Deathbringer pickaxe anymore. 
All right, there's Billy. Why won't you give me the the items I want, Billy? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. I can show off uh, what I'm talking about when it comes to those strange plants because once they spawn, they do stay in place. They don't go anywhere. So I can, in fact, uh, show off. So I left a strange plant where it was for this very reason. I think I did anyway. Hopefully I did. Oh yeah, there it is, right at the edge of... Oh, you know what? I got ahead of myself. Like, way ahead of myself. I forgot to quarantine the crimtain, or crimson, biome so that they wouldn't spread. Because that's another thing that happens once uh, you're in hard mode. Crimson or corruption, depending on which you have in your world, it begins to spread. And it can destroy your entire world. And Considering the fact that we have a crimson biome right next, right next, excuse me, right next to the jungle, and the jungle is pretty much irreplaceable. Once it's gone, it is gone. And we need the jungle to fight a certain boss. That same boss that for some reason I'm obsessed with not revealing who it is or what it is. D don't ask why I'm making such a big deal out of that. It's silly, really. And I accidentally set my spawn point to there. Like, completely- there, strange play. And we got Grimdie! Gr Grimdie? What does this do? I, I kinda don't like how I can't just click on these to force them to stack, I have to remove them one at a time, it's kind of annoying. Let's see what this looks like on this. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Kinda... I don't know, makes me look like a zombie or something? Those stink lines coming off me? I have no idea. But we do want to try collecting all the dyes for... I don't know, no particular reason. Also, might as well show off what the, uh, Hellstone armor looks like. There. Quite lovely, isn't it? Let's see what it looks like with reflective gold on it. Ooh, shiny. And I still like our ninja gear better. Until we come along with something better, we'll go with our ninja equipment. So we look pretty badass, if I do say so myself. So now that we're in hard mode, you're probably wondering, what are we trying to do? Well, I will tell you. And then I'll probably wrap this episode up, because it's probably already over time. Since I neglected to start the timer. I don't know why, what's with me today, or the last couple of days. I haven't been quite myself. Well, I've been myself. I've just been more absent-minded and such things than I usually am. Ooh. The wandering Eye. The hard mode equivalent of the Demon Eye. Anyway, basically now that we're in hard mode, there's new bosses to fight. As you can see, the Wandering Eye is kind of like a mini version of the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh right, I also forgot to show you this. We built a mushroom biome up here. At least I don't think I showed this off. We're gonna want to clear some space here, or maybe down there. We'll build a mushroom house. So we- a mushroom house out of mushroom blocks for a mushroom man. Indeed. Also, these uh, glowing mushrooms are very useful to have nearby because we can turn them into. We can use them to turn our lesser po healing potions into regular healing potions. Though we need new ingredients entirely to make greater healing potions. And now that we're in hard mode, we do kind of want greater healing potions. Also, there's an item that we will need because one of the once you're in hard mode, one of the big things you're going to want to do right away, if you can is start collecting items for something called the Onk Shield. I'm pretty sure I also mangled that pronunciation horribly. But the idea... Oh, hello, Mr. Possessed Armor. Oh, what do you know? A fast clock. That's one of those items right there that I was just talking about. The Onk Shield is basically um, an item that protects you from just about every harmful status effect in the game. There's a couple that it doesn't protect you from, but it does protect you from just about everything. And that that's what we really want in the end, because we do not want to deal- because there's also, um, hard mode also introduces a lot of new status effects that are not nice. Also, I don't know about you, but I don't recall- I don't recall all this- oh wait, never mind. The color looked kind of crimson for some reason. I thought we were in- that uh, this desert had been already converted. As you can see, there's one of those, uh, things that we've been affected by. That's what the fast clock protects against. But 
we already have some of what's necessary. We have the obsidian shield, which is pretty much the, the shield part of the obsidian shield, or the onk shield. What we want to do now is make the onk charm, and that requires a whole heck of a lot of items. In fact, on my other character, I already have a completed onk shield. I'm in some ways tempted to just skip ahead and grab that, but that does sound suspiciously like cheating, so I won't do that. Anyway, but... Oh! Here we go. Here's some hallow. Which... Wow, this is... This has already spread pretty significantly. I don't recall hallow spreading quite this fast. But we have a hallowed desert. And despite what you might think, hallow is not a fun place. Actually, considering how many deserts we have, I might just let this desert be completely converted into hallow desert. It doesn't sound like such a big deal to me, I guess. And we do want some... I mean, listen to that happy music. But, you know, and those pixies will try to kill you. And as, here's some light mummies. Uh, they drop one half of... They drop some kind of light symbol. Why, why are there so many monsters spawning? I don't know, this is craziness. You know what, I might just... I might change my mind and make this a long episode. Oh, there's a light shard. Oh, there's a unicorn. Huzzah. Trust me, unicorns are not your friend. As you might have noticed, it came running straight for us. It was trying to kill us. You also notice, I think, that the light mummies are kind of smiling. Yeah. I don't know what they're smiling about. They're coming to kill me. Also, pixie dust. That's one of the items required to make, uh, to make the greater healing potions. Oh. Oh wait, nope, nope, here it comes. Here it comes the unicorn. It's coming in for the kill. Or at least it's trying to. I'll be damned if I let a unicorn kill me. But yeah, we have this lovely, uh, hallowed desert. This also will spread and take over your world if you let it. It's not so bad if you get some hallow that's right next to a jungle, because for whatever reason, hallow can't spread through jungle tiles. And by jungle, I mean mud. Which is kind of annoying, because crimson and corruption can both spread through mud. But hallow can't. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed by that. Oh, jeez. I swear, in, in my old, like, post- or pre-1.3 game, Hallow did not spread this fast. You know what? We'll, we'll let it keep spreading. Yeah, yeah might as well. Because it'll eventually... The Crimson and the uh, Hallow will... They can't pass through each other. So they'll eventually bump into each other and then it won't be able to spread any further. Now, we want to get to the other side of the Crimson, though, because we need to set up a quarantine zone so it doesn't spread into the jungle. Now, what we could do, of course, is make it so... Also, this is my early attempt at a creating a quarantine zone. This goes all the way down and sort of, sort of traps the crimson off. It'll at least slow the spread on this side. I did that mostly because I'm lazy and it occurred to me just how easy it would be to uh, quarant- oh god, what, what the hell is that? A herpling? Yeah. Oh right, I keep forgetting that there's all kinds of- there's a lot of new enemies. Perhaps my most hated enemy in, uh, hard mode. Oh god, as you can see, the crimson is already threatening to spread into the jungle. This is not a good sign. Because as I've said before, once your jungle is gone, it's gone. Because as you can see, uh, I think this is kind of stupid, really, is that, um, what it does when crimson or corruption spreads, as, as you saw right there just now, it turns mud into dirt, so you literally cannot get your jungle back. And I think that horrible sound we just heard a second ago was the call of a derpling. I know what you're thinking. They are... They, they're horrible, horrible killers. Alright, we've got to blow our way through here as quickly... Oh god. And efficiently as possible. We have to quarantine the jungle. And the best way to do that is through blowing shit up. Like that. Fortunately, Chimeras are still Chimeras. They're not too dangerous down here. Pretty sure that's not technically, uh, corrupted, so nothing to worry about. 
We're safe for now. But we want to make sure that we... Qu oh yeah, there's a Durfling. Those things are the bane of my existence. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Alright. Looks like we're almost through. Okay. Now, this doesn't mean that we're in the clear yet. I think, uh... Crimson can't spread within three tiles, I think it is. So we basically want a three tile wide gap in order to seal this stuff off. It's our only hope. And you guys probably don't want to watch this, but since I seem to be... Oh god, and there's an angry trapper. That's the hard mode equivalent of the man eater. And in addition, there are... Oh yeah, I already said, there's new bosses in hard mode, the mechanical bosses, there's actually an achievement for taking on and beating all three mechanical bosses at the same at the same time. Will I ever be at that point? I don't know, I feel I can barely kill one of the mechanical bosses at the best of times. Hopefully I didn't miss any- oh god, I missed something. You can kind of see it right there. You see, it's so easy, but if you miss even a square, then this stuff, it doesn't stop spreading. It just keeps going and going and going until your entire world is a hideous... Also, we have unholy arrows now somewhere? Oh, mummy pants, yes. We definitely want those. Okay, all kinds of... Oh yeah, the grim dog, right, right, right. I can't even remember what I'm doing at this point. So, the idea is we just keep on dropping bombs until we've completely quarantined everything. How will we know when we're safe? Well, it's actually looking like we're sort of reaching a point where we might be safe-ish. I just need to dig under it so that it has no way of spreading. And then we can rest easy, knowing that our jungle will not be turned into a hideous crimson biome. As I believe I've said before, the crimson kind of scares me. Just thinking about just the concept of what it the crimson is. That's the scary part. Okay. In fact, it kind of bothers me that we're still hearing crimson music, even though we're clearly in what at the moment appears to be jungle. I guess we're not jungle enough. Okay. I think we've almost created a quarantine zone. It's hard to tell for sure. I should have uh, done all this off camera, but... You know, if ifs and buts and all that jazz. That angry trapper scares me, because that will kill me in a very short amount of time, if I let it. Because that's hard mode for you! Oh yeah, as you can see, we did not quite quarantine enough. We have a bit further to go. Actually, you know what? I will save the rest of this off -camera for off-camera work. Um, I have a bit of other random footage that I'll probably splice in at the beginning of this episode. So, for now, uh, thank you all. Toxic Sludge, there's never new hard mode enemy. Die, please. It's a type of slime, so there, it's never on our checklist of slime killing bingo. Anyway, but yes, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And I will see all of you next time. Oh god, no! We're going to die!